Hey guys, Jobin here. Last week I was doing a little shopping for some first aid stuff because I'd been out geocaching and it had dawned on me that I didn't have any sort of first aid kit in my bag with me, which was kind of strange. I normally do. But it was that uh, Maxpedition bag I got a little while ago and I just never put anything in it. So I thought, well, that's not good. I should fix that. So I was on Amazon and I was looking at Adventure Medical Kit stuff and I decided I wanted to get a little kit for basically little cuts and scrapes stuff you could fix with a band-aid or you know a little piece of gauze or something um, I'm I also got something for more serious wounds but that's a different video but I found myself looking at two things from AMK and I don't know if the descriptions were inadequate or if I just had a really short attention span that day. But I was going back and forth between the pages for these. And I wasn't really sure what the difference was. You had the AMK, AMK Pocket Medic. And the Ultralight and Watertight Medical Kit Point Three. And so I thought to myself, you know what? These are both under $10. That was like 7 and that was nine something I could just get them both <laughs> decide for myself which one I want to use and I could make a video about it to show other people who might be wanting to see a comparison now I do not have nearly enough first aid knowledge to make any recommendations about what you should carry or to give my opinion about evaluating these kits I'm just gonna show what's in here to you guys and you decide for yourself. You're on your own. Okay, here we go. Actually, to save time, I'm going to unpack them and then, like, do a pan down across uh, what's in there just to show it off. Okay, guys? Back in a minute. Actually, you know what? For that, let's do a size comparison. Here's the Pocket Medic, which is the smaller kit, uh, versus the .3 doesn't look like a really dramatic difference, but in terms of fitting it into a pocket, I think there would be. Like, here's a comparison. Um, uh, the Pocket Medic is probably well named because it's about the size of an average wallet. You know, I've seen guys with wallets fatter than this. So, not burdensome at all. Uh, whereas the point three is a bit bigger than a wallet. I'd say you're out of standard wallet size and into like sandwich size, you know? Let's uh let's contrast thickness here. Sorry, I can't decide which direction to show this from. I'm fumbling around, wasting time. There. There we go. Right, and another standard comparison Swiss Army knife. All right, okay, now we do the unpacking. Okay, here we go. Here's the smaller pocket medic kit on the left, and the larger point three on the right. They both, by the way, which I haven't mentioned these um the bags they're in are waterproof and resealable and they come with a tear-off strip on the top um, which if you already know what's in here and you're familiar with it i guess you could leave um leave done until you need to use something in there for some additional security but i wanted to open them up of course to have a look at what's in here so they've got the waterproof bags and they each come with some tweezers and a little capsule. Uh, the Pocket Medic kit has a pair of ibuprofen tablets and a couple safety pins. Point three has a pair of ibuprofen, a pair of antihistamine, and three safety pins. They each have two these sort of H-shaped bandages. I've never actually used these before. I think they're for like knuckles or something or like on the hand between the fingers you just have two of those 
the pocket medic has one small piece of sterile gauze, two by two inches. The point three has one, two, three pieces of sterile gauze the same size and a roll of fabric tape. They each have about four standard band-aids and a couple of butterfly closures. These things are the bomb. They each also have a sheet of pre-cut uh, moleskin for protecting uh, blisters. And up top here, the pocket medic has a dose of antibiotic ointment for cuts. The point three has two doses. The pocket medic has three antiseptic towelettes. These are the uh, non-alcohol ones. Not sure exactly what's what's in these. Something I can't pronounce that begins with B chloride. Antiseptic hand wash. They each have three of those. Pocket medic has one after bite um, itch eraser. Seems mildly pointless. The point three has two. And the point three also has a pair of traditional alcohol prep pads. So they're pretty similar. Mostly what you're getting for the extra, slight extra bulk in the point three appears to be some more gauze and some decent tape to secure it with. And probably I'd say the most valuable thing, extra dose of antibiotic ointment. So there you go. I hope you folks uh, found this helpful. This is Jobin signing off, saying, remember where your knife is, but don't cut yourself with it. And if you do, you know, have something to take care of it.